Hello and welcome to the 51st tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at badges. We'll be using the source code from the 6th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Badges allow you to easily highlight new and unread items. So for example, if you go on a website and you're logged in, maybe it's a mail client or maybe it's some sort of service that allows you to send and receive messages. Sometimes you may have a badge or some sort of indication that you have unread or new messages. That's essentially what a badge is, that's what it can be used for. Like anything in Bootstrap, you can uh, implement it really, really easily. So let's open up our index.html and just show you how to do it. You can put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it outside the row, row and class, but as an extra task, put it inside and just see how it reacts. So I'm going to put ahref equals hash. You obviously, you can make it equal to something if you really want to, but the purpose of this tutorial isn't to show this part, but this will just enhance the badge. I'm going to put messages. Now what I'm going to do is put a span class equals badge. All this is built in, all these classes, so we don't need to worry about them. And here I'm just going to put 32. And on the next line, I'm just going to put a button. And I'm going to put a class of btn. Then a BTM primary. This is all stuff that we've already covered. Its type is going to be button. Now I'm going to put email spam. And this is going to have another class of badge. We're just doing two badges to demonstrate where they can be put, which is pretty much anywhere really. You can do whatever you want. Obviously, certain places they look better than others, but it's totally up to you. If we just save this and run this bad boy in our web browser, scroll down, there we go, we have our bad system. So like I said, the button and this little text is ahref, doesn't matter, it's just to enhance the bad, but this bad, I mean, the bad is this little thing right here. So this one says 28, so this would indicate to the user I've got 28 unread or new emails. This would indicate to the user I've got 32 unread or new messages. So. Let's show you what happens if there's no data inside the bad. So if we go back and put get rid of get rid of the data. So leave the bad still there. And if we save it, refresh our page, as you can see, it disappears. Which is good because we don't want just like an empty circle there. That doesn't look very professional. Because if we've let's say read all our emails and dealt with them. We don't want a, l a little empty circle there, so that's all built into Bootstrap. That's not something that we have to code to check if it, if something exists within the badge, then do this, and if it doesn't, then do this. So that's just great. Collapse doesn't work in IE8 due to there being no colon empty selector in CSS, but you could solve this using jQuery. I hate personally trying to support old browsers, except for, I mean, especially like old IE browsers, because it's just so annoying. But if you want to, that's how you can get around it. But most of the browsers will be supported. The next tutorial will cover Jumbotron. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk or the required source code will be in the description. To see hundreds of more videos like this on completely free, visit sonarlearning.co.uk and as usual thank you for watching and hope you have a great day.